everyone, welcome to these Cabbies Dolls and Toys. I actually have some cabbie mail with me today. I didn't get any actual dolls. I don't have any cabbies, but I did get three Coleco Cabbage Patch Kid outfits. They were, I guess you could say they're new in the box. The boxes are kind of beat up and stuff. It doesn't look like these outfits have ever been used. But there's three of them, and I want to share them with you guys. I thought it would be fun to show some, you know, old 80s Coleco outfits from the original kids. It's always fun when we do cabbie stuff here. <music> All right, so the first one I'm going to show you. This is a boy's outfit. I think they're all. I think they were all intended for the the Cabbage Patch Kid boys. Um, so this is the box that it came in, and it says right there Coleco. It is a denim overall, a short overall set with a orange, um, like button down polo, I guess, underneath it. We're going to take it out and get a good look at it. It looks like there's a red hat in there and some sneakers and some socks. Um, I'm not sure if this stuff has been used, but it definitely looks very dusty. So, yeah, I'm going to have to wash it. On the back of the box, it actually looks like the vintage Coleco cabby boxes. Uh, they kind of stayed within that same design for all of their stuff whether it be accessories or clothes and you know the boxes look very very similar so this legend of the cabbage patch kids and the artwork that you see here is pretty similar to what you see in the back of a um 1980s coleco cabbage patch kid box and it has the Le the legend of the cabbage patch kids which i'm gonna read to you guys just in case you don't know it Many years ago, a young boy named Xavier happened upon an enchanted cabbage patch where he found very special little people who called themselves Cabbage Patch Kids. To help fulfill the Cabbage Patch Kids dream of having families with whom to share their love, Xavier set about building a special place known as Baby Manjaro, where the kids remain until each is chosen for adoption. Won't you adopt a Cabbage Patch Kid and fill a little heart with love? And look at the cute little cabbies down at the bottom isn't that cute and then um, on the side there's, there's artwork of another little cabby i love the early kids so much they're so nostalgic to me because that was my childhood you know and it says right here baby clothes for your cabbage patch kid okay so all these boxes are exactly the same i have three that i'm going to show you so i'm going to take this out oh wow yeah this is like rubber bands disintegrating this is like really <laughs> okay right, so this is the outfit and it comes on the hanger so it comes with a little orange polo underneath and uh this is a, a very common cabbie outfit from those days Cabbage Patch Kids patch right on the front, and they are shorts. Very cute. And this outfit comes with a little hat. This hat is also common. You see this a lot on the early Coleco boys. And inside the hat, just so you know, there's actual Velcro inside the hat. And I thought that was nice that they put that in the design. So that way it can stick to the cabbie's hair, you know, and stay on better. I still always have a problem, they always fall out. <laughs> um, come with a little tag, the little cabby tag. I keep these um, on the back. It has the legend again, but I always keep the tags because I don't know, it's just a lot of nostalgia for me. All right, and it comes with sneakers. The sneakers are very sticky, so we're going to clean them. We're gonna, I'm going to wash all of this stuff because even though they 
sold it to me as new in box. It's it's definitely not new. Maybe they were never used, but I wouldn't consider this new. So, and it's always good, you know, to wash this stuff, uh, especially now. Um, you know, because this stuff has been sitting around for years and years and years. I even wash my cabbies when I get them. If, unless the box is really sealed and there's no signs of dust, I, I wash them. So here's the little socks. And these are the little shoes. Pretty common. You see these a lot in the Coleco cabby uh, world. Okay, so that's that outfit. Very cute. Like I said, I, I do, you know, I do have these outfits for other kids. So this, this was weird. Um, okay. This is a, again, looks like a little boy's uh, romper. But, and it's got the white, little white uh, shirt, t-shirt underneath with um, the blue thread around, you know, around the arms and the neck and cabbage patch kid logo on the um on this on the sleeve and the elephant romper this is also very common a very common outfit i got a really good deal on these outfits and it's always nice to have extra clothes because sometimes when you know especially like if you thrift and things like that sometimes you'll find good deals on cabbies that don't have clothes on um so i always try to pick up pampers um you know the old coleco pampers for them and i try to find outfits too so this is what the t-shirt looks like oh uh, and see there's a little stain on the back so i'm i'm not convinced that this hasn't been used actually but that's okay it's in good shape it's in really good shape and the corduroy elephant romper and this is this is what i'm talking about which is really weird so this came with two little socks again but these shoes and i don't know if this was a factory mistake or the person that i got this from did this but these are clearly the little girls um like slipper shoes or whatever they're called um i guess they're like mary jane's or whatever but yeah these are it's just weird that these shoes we're in with this outfit very very odd but then again you know it could have happened it could have happened in in production you know we don't know what happened 40 years ago and this is the last one this is actually one of my favorite of the uh common coleco cabbie outfits um i i just think that the kids look so cute in this um and you, you could put this on a girl too actually i mean um i'm probably gonna put it on a boy but i guess you could it so this is the teddy bear corduroy pantsuit the pants have a little cabbage patch patch on the back and you have your cute little teddy bear uh pleat right there and then you got the white buttons and underneath you have a really basic but cute white tee it's i'm pretty sure it's probably exactly like the one that i just showed you um pretty sure yeah it is yeah it is same exact thing but comes with the little snow hat and i love that I love that. I love. I think they look so cute with the little snow hats on, and this is this is a this is one of my favorite common outfits. It's very cute. So I got a good deal on all of this stuff. I'm gonna wash it. Uh, I'm gonna wash it all and wash the shoes and everything. You, if if you're curious, um, with the shoes, Nelson usually makes like this half bleach, half water thing um, and soaks them. For the clothes, we put them um, on delicate in the washing machine with, you could probably do warm water, but I do cold because I don't want them to shrink or anything like that. And then I usually, I may put them in the dryer for like five or 10 minutes. And then the rest of the way, I just let them like air dry. 
And sometimes uh, if it's nice outside, I'll just put them right outside and let them dry in the sun. They dry fast because they're, you know, they're little. They're tiny little clothes, so. But yeah, that's it. That's all I have. I do have some cabbies coming soon. No, I'm still waiting. I'm still, still waiting. But um, yeah, so there'll be another cabbie meal video pretty soon, hopefully. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I'm, if you guys want to say hi, leave a comment, anything like that. Tell me if you have any of these outfits, if you've seen them before, if you have any questions. You know I love hearing from you guys, so definitely leave me a comment. Feel free to share this with your other cabbie collector, doll collector friends. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, bye.